All right, let's do this. Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today we're going to do a comparison between two planar headphones that I love both of them. And each one of them has unique features that uh, I, I like a lot. And they also have a couple quirks. So let's break them down. First off, we have the HE4XX from Hi-Fi Min. And then next we have the Advanced Alpha. All right, so let's see. How are we going to do this? Build quality. Both headphones are built extremely well. There is not anything to really complain about either one. Uh, the advanced, or excuse me, the Hi-Fi Mins have a nice headband to them. Lacks a little bit in padding, but it it doesn't feel bad on the head. Metal yokes and arms uh, and slider. The cups are a hard plastic. The grills are some sort of really thin, like aluminum or metal of some sort, and very well built. Um, when they when they sit on your head, they feel nice and light. They don't feel near as heavy as they do in the hand, but they're not as heavy as the Advanced Alpha. The um, overall build quality is excellent. Advanced Alpha metal head strap, metal yokes. Uh, all metal through here, a little bit of um, nice aesthetic with the red and the black. Branding is very limited, whereas the branding on the Hi-Fi Min is even more minimal. The um, hard plastic here is about the same as the Hi-Fi Min, and a little bit of a metal feel to the grill. The matte black is just awesome. The head strap has a little bit more padding than the Hi-Fi Min. But as far as build quality, they they both feel top notch. They, neither one of them feel like they're gonna break when you pick them up and they don't creak or sound um, cheap in any way. I would say just by feel, by holding them, the Advanced Alpha feels a little heavier. I, I don't know the exact weights um, per each. It might be different if you look at the spec sheet, but to the hand, the Advanced Alpha feels just a slight bit heavier, but on the head, they both feel very light. Getting to comfort. Um, the head strap on the Advanced Alpha releases tension a little bit more than just having the, the, the band like the Hi-Fi Min has, in my opinion. But the, neither one of them put a lot of force on top of your head, so you don't feel like you have a book or a brick or anything on top of your head, which is nice. The um, pad wise, the advanced come with two pads. They have a large pad, which is leather, has a little bit deeper of a cup, and um, is all leather. And then they have the hybrid pad, which is more shallow, um, not by much, but just a little bit, and then has leather on the outside, perforated leather on the inside, and then this fabric on here, and it feels very very much nice. If you're familiar with hi and pads, it reminds me a lot of the Pally pad that comes on the Sundara. And they're removable very easily. They have this little clip system. You just line up the colors with the inside and you just twist it and they're on. Um, red on right, blue on left. Very nice. Very easy. And when they sit on your head, that strap just adjusts and I don't have any clamp issues. In fact, the clamp is perfect for my size of head. And the, the circles just fit right around the ear. Very comfortable. I find these extremely comfortable. No complaints whatsoever there. And then on the Hi-Fi Men, the stock pad that came with them is trash. Uh, very thin. It's a Focus A pad. I did not care for it. The floor is itchy on my ears. I immediately took it off as soon as I list, did a couple of uh, listening sessions and I replaced it with the Deconi uh, Sheepskins angled pad. Didn't change the sound signature at all. Adds a little bit of an angle to it. Um, that's deeper than the one that comes with a stock pad. 
and the hole is bigger and um, comfort wise wow just instantly upgrade so I highly recommend the Deconi sheepskins on the the fenest, make sure you get the fenestrated ones not the um, full leather because that does change the sound significantly it makes them extremely bassy so fenestrated sheepskin Deconis I love on the Hi-Fi Men other than that there hasn't been any change made to them comfort wise when you put them on the band just kind of sits there doesn't put any pressure on it and you can adjust it accordingly and as I said the pads make a difference the only um, real drawback to both of them is the cables the stock cable that came with the hi-fi men is rubbery never straightens out it's it's an okay length it's just a terrible build quality it's just cheap um, it felt like they took the cheapest cable that they could find and slapped it on here to, to keep the price minimal. The Advanced Alpha, on the other hand, has a really nice cable that comes with it. It's braided, it's twisted, um, it's beautiful to look at. The only real downside to it is it's short, really short, especially for a desktop use or for sitting in, in like a setting like I have where you plug it into an amp and then you have to kind of sit as close as you can to your amp. Um, because it's too short I, and then the other thing is it's brown and I don't know why you would have a mocha brown cable with a black headset uh, just anyways small minor gripes but I, I love the cable if you're going to use it in a setting in which you don't need a long cable it works just great and it's very light very well built so I replaced the cables on both needless to say uh, the cable on the Hi-Fi Min, or yeah, on the Hi-Fi Min is a periap cable, and then the cable on the Advanced Alpha is the Bushman cable. Now both um, headphones work okay with third-party cables. The only significant thing to, of note is the Hi-Fi Min has the, the still has the square cutout, just like all the other headphones that Hi-Fi makes. So if you get a um, if your input is too big or doesn't have one of those step downs on it it might not fit into that hole and then your cable can't be used the advanced alpha seems to be a little picky when it comes to um, what type of cable it takes and every now and then you might have to twist them and turn them and jiggle the handle so to speak in order to get it to work and also I've had some that do not actually connect at all so I don't know exactly what else going on with the internals here but just be aware that they are sensitive to whatever cable goes in there you might have a different um, experience on it but I have found that several different head, um, cables do not work ones that do work are the Hi-Fi Min OFC cable which is really nice Hi-Fi Min o, uh, hybrid cable in fact I have it right over here let me grab it And that's this this cable right here and it's a nice cable um, it's a little stiff though that's the only complaint that I have about it is it's a little too much on the stiff side so it, it, it might really flat on your desk but if you go to move it's gonna move the whole cable it doesn't it's not real flexy so but it's got really skinny um, headphone inputs and of course it's 2.5 millimeters and the smaller the better I found with the advanced alpha so anyways that's the cable there the periap cable works great with with the uh, the high phone overall which one would I give um, build quality and comfort build quality is equal to both uh, I have a preference I actually like the old-school look of the high phone in a little bit better but the events alpha just looks luxurious and premier um, so either or was good, but I like the old school look of the hi fi Comfort wise, definitely clear winner is the Advanced Alpha. For me, they just were more comfortable. Didn't have to change the pads. Um, comfort straps just better. And the clamp force isn't as significant. There's a little bit of clamp force on the hi fi Min. hi fi Min's not bad comfort wise, especially with the pad change, but I prefer the Advanced Alpha. Again, you might have a different opinion. But I don't find these uncomfy. I can wear them for hours, but everybody's head's different. Everybody's ears are a little different comfort-wise. So advanced alpha there. Build-wise, I like the look of the hyphen a little better. 
sound. When they say that all headphones sound different, <laughs> yeah, these two sound completely different. Um, pretty equal as far as specs go for the most part, and uh, driver size is pretty similar, um, but wow. They, they're, they're completely different sounding, uh, bass-wise. Both are very well um, detailed and they extend fairly decently. The only difference is that the hi fi mens on the bass is more, more neutral and, I, I, and very detail-oriented. Whereas on the Alpha, just a smidge more, a little bit more on the north side of neutral and a little bit more of a warmer sound and a little bit more thump and impact. Not much because I, these are not bass head headphones and neither are these by any stretch of the imagination. They both are very nicely sounding bass. The only thing is these have a little bit more, I would call, musicality to them. Um, but they both sound great if you want detailed bass and you want to hear what the artist had intended for it. But musicality wise, they advanced. Mids are where these are completely different. The advanced alpha is forward in the mids. The high fed mids are very neutral. Now they're both um, sound very natural, sound very um, clean and detailed and have a nice um, tone to them. But these give a laid back feel whereas these are very much forward, not shouty, but they're definitely present. So, um, and, they're, and they're a little warmer sounding and not to the point where you're it, it, it they don't sound bloated or or muddy but they definitely have a little bit of a warmer tone to them than the hi-fi i mean hi-fi man is very clean very neutral very balanced whereas these have a slight bump to them where they're they're forward and have a a, a little more body there you go full bodied sound these, they're not lean sounding, they're not recessed, they're just straight across the board, even. Treble, the Advanced Alpha gets themselves in trouble. And the 4XX is very smooth, silky, beautiful. The Hi-Fi Mint has a little bit, or not the Hi-Fi Mint, the Advanced has a little bit of a peak in it, and you can get a little bit of um, sibilance and sharpness in it on some songs and on certain amps. And um, we'll get into the amps thing in a little bit, but with the Alpha, there are a little there's a little bit of a spike in it so that when you get in your transitions from your upper mids to your lower treble, they can they don't do the ringing thing like the M1060s do for mono price, but they do. They, they, they have a little bit of a piercing sound, and it's because the treble's forward on them. Whereas on the on the hi-fi men, they're 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 not forward. They're very balanced and even, just like the the bass and the mids. Everything is just kind of smooth, neutral. Um, whereas on the hi-fi men or on the advanced, man, I keep swapping. Them. Anyways, on the advanced. That it's got a little bit of a peak in it, and you can get a little sharpness, a little ooh, every now and then. Which one extends better? They're pretty equal on that. Um, neither one seems to have an advantage in regards to that. One thing that is noticeable is the detailing. Um, seems to me that the Hi-Fi Man does a little bit better job of cleaning things up and you get a little bit more clear 
micro and macro details, whereas the advanced alpha, even though you get to detailing, it's got a little bit of graininess to it, and so you, you do miss out on some of the macro stuff, what you would call macro detailing. Um, amp wise oh soundstage the hi-fi main is a lot higher a lot, a lot farther out than the advanced the advanced are a little more intimate and um, closer but they still have a nice soundstage to it and a lot of nice detailing and layering in it I would say that the the advanced is more detailed in the soundstage whereas the hi-fi mains are more right center left uh, you don't get the inner spursing part of it and the and the layering and depth of it like you do on the advanced so they're more of a direct sound but it's wider if that makes sense amp wise now this is where these both differ a lot so for example the hi-fi mins on the topping stack the hi-fi mins sounds clear they sound very detailed very analytical very smooth the Advanced sound a little sparkly, a little more airy, a little crisper, but also they get a little bit of that treble sharpness going on. And on some songs, you can get a little bit of fatigue. You move on over to the CTH, the Cavelli Tube Hybrid, and the Hi-Fi Men's become more warm. They become, you get a little bit more soundstage, you get a little more... It, um, musicality in them. They sound a little bit less lean and a little more on the warm side. And then you move it over to the APPJ and with the tubes that I have then that which are the electro harmonics the the warmness kind of lifts a little bit and they're not as warm but they're you get more impact in the bass and the treble becomes a little bit more crisp the advanced alpha you put them as i said on the on the on the topping and you get a little too much uh, excitement you put them on the cth and they get a little too warm you get a little more darker sounding headphone and that treble sharpness kind of dips and they and they don't sound as smooth you put them on the appj and i find that those that that amp opens them up a little bit and you get more back in the treble and so they don't sound as dark as they do on the CTH. Also I found that if you run either one of these on the phone, the Hi-Fi Men sounds dull and you get a little less from the mids. You put the Advanced Alpha on the phone, I use the LG V30, or you put it on a DAP like the um, Cyan N3 and they just, they, they can't drive it. They're too demanding. Um, and they sound dull and the, the treble becomes very sibilant and very sharp no matter which one you're you know, you're using phone or DAP so you have to have some power to run the advanced alphas and you need power to run the hi-fi men but it's not as dependent on an amp amps are definitely are definitely um, recommended for the 4xx but it's not a requirement but it definitely opens them up and the advanced alpha no questions you have to have an amp hands down the hardest headphones I have to drive overall who are these for well it depends are you looking for a little bit more musicality a little bit more full body a little bit more fun the advanced alpha are you looking for something that's more analytical more uh, a little leaner sound, a little bit more detailed sound, the Hi-Fi Men. Are you looking for something that's an overall just good sounding, goes with any type of amp, Hi-Fi Men. Are you going for something that is specific for a certain amp, uh, something that is got that good planar bass and just overall just wow factor when it comes to sound stage and immersion and all that the advanced alpha if you're looking for a wide sound stage something that's good to game in something that has good details but isn't bloated in any category and is laid back and is a chill headphone the hi-fi men i use both of them it just depends on what mood i'm in 
So both are great. Both have their quirks. Both have their pluses and minuses. And I love both of them. And I'm glad that I have both of them in my in my collection. So I don't know if this has been of any help to you at all. But this has been the comparison between the Hi Fi Men HE4XX and the Advanced Alpha. Please do keep in mind that any comparisons I have made are not in comparison to any other headphone other than these two alone. Okay, so anything that hasn't been mentioned, these are not involved in that conversation. These this is just a comparison between the 4XX and the Alpha. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. I appreciate you watching and thank you for joining me today on the comparison and I'll catch you on the next video.